All right, um, we're going to take a look at how to use the Freeriders Press Administration Panel. Now, to get here, we need to go to the um, uh, the production website, and then at instead of index.php, we're going to add management.php. And this URL will probably be in your email. <coughs> Um, okay, so first of all, you'll have to log in. I've already done that, just using the login information I've sent out. Um, and then it'll bring you right to this page. Um, now you have six different paid actions you can choose from. First of all, um, to get the ad reports, which you can use to copy and paste directly into your printing uh, software, you're going to select the Retrieve Ad Reports button, which is right here. Now this will bring up a drop down where you can select specific categories that you want ad the ad reports from or view all ads. Now if we click this, you can see uh, what the first thing you see is the expired and TBA or to be announced ads. Now these are the ads that have, they're either not running anymore or will run in the future. Now we can scroll right past those and get down to the part wh where we actually need to put the information into our printing program. Now this is this is I'm just going to in each category it's just going to list um, a series of ads using this black line to separate them. And if there's photos, there will be photos as well. Now we can see uh, there's an issue with this ad because the photo uploaded cannot be displayed. Now um, that is um, uh, that'll display if there's a problem with the file upload and we'll need to contact um, the person who created the ad to either get the photo or um, inform them that there's been some technical difficulties with their ad placement. <clears throat> and here, here's, now you see this ad reoccurring. This is because um, it's listed under multiple categories, so I have it outputted for each category that's listed under. And then you can see here's a bolded ad. It just has a bold font. Same same style, same situation here. Um, so this is where you'll go to get the ad reports. And then just you just need to let me know how I can um, modify this to make it easier um, to download into the printing application. Okay. Um, let's look at uh, another important section. Um, the manage all ads section. This this section will give you a list of all the ads in the system. It doesn't care when they're running. Um, it just outputs everything so that you can view details or modify the ad. And of course, you can get to these view details or modify ad by these different categories. And I've also created a filters um, tool so you can search for ads by last name or by phone number. So if you enter a last name it'll shrink the list up a little bit and give you only ads with a last name that matches that or if you enter a phone number it'll shrink the list even more and apparently there's no there's no ads with that phone number in there so we can also use the categories we'll just switch back to all ads to get them all back Okay, so let's say we want to modify. Let's say uh, a, a user calls up and says that their ad um, needs to run at different dates. So let's go ahead and change this Moxie non bolded one version. Okay, as you can see, it's 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 just a copy of this one. I've done this ad a couple times, um, but the, we'll pretend the start and end dates are wrong. So we're gonna hit modify ad. Now here we, we see the raw data file. It's a little ugly and um, until you understand what it actually is, it might not be very easy to modify. So what we have here is a variable that equals a value. Okay, so this format cannot be changed. Like do not put like, don't hit return and then add like comments and stuff like that. It has to stay in this format, otherwise it won't work with the system. Now if we scroll down, most of these are pretty easy, easy to understand. They describe what their values are. Um, if we wanted to change the start dates, um, 
what we'd have to do is change these two values right here. Now what these actually mean, the start date isn't like <clears throat> an actual date, it's just the number of months since the ad was be has been created that the ad will run. Now this says zero, so that would so you'd think the day it was created would be the day it's run, but actually the way the system works is it takes that plus um, one month, and then if it's if the dat ad was created after the fifteenth, it adds an additional month, so it would add two months onto it. So if we wanted this to actually start this month, month, which is from previous, we we know it was running on February, we'd have to put a negative two here. <coughs> Now the way the end date works is it goes off of whatever the start date is and adds two months onto it. <coughs> so if they didn't want the ad to run for two months and only for one, we could set this to one. Acceptable values are not zero here. For end date, it's one to um, essentially infinity, but they all have to be integers. Okay. So, making those changes, the ad should now run from December to January. We save that. It tells us here that the ad has been saved. Now we go back to managing all ads, and we can see that now the ad that we were modifying goes from December 07 to J January 08. Okay. Um, and it, also that's where you can modify you know the ad details and um, change category numbers which um, maybe in future releases may be easier if we have issues and need to do that type of operations more frequently okay um, we can also look at the ad details if we click view details this is basically the same thing it just lays it out a little more shows us the raw data file where we we can't edit it in this step but it gives us the ad in a in a cleaner view um, it's probably not that important of a module but you can also search for ads here too using the order ID last name or phone number alright um, the last two are the categories and coupon codes now we can we can actually modify the categories directly from uh, the admin panel. So say you want to add a category, um, you could go in here and um, change one of these out. Now um, the way the way it works right now is you can basically only change or um, remove. You, you can't uh, um, do a complete edit. Um, if you want to add images you can upload images here. Um, this is more advanced, um, which you should probably uh, leave to me for now. Um, if we if we want to expand this feature set, um, that can also be done. Um, let's move on to the coupon codes. So this is how we'll um, identify the people who are entering um, ads or give prom promotional discounts to users. So this is pretty simple. You just add the numbers, the the code number here, and then a description. We'll call this promo one. Ideally, the code number should be somewhat large, so that it's not easy to um, just spam and find a code number. And then we can add a discount. It's in percentages, so well, zero to a hundred is uh, acceptable range. <coughs> and as you can see now we have two coupons like this test code with the zero discount that will be useful for um, identifying people so we can just have them enter a coupon code without any discount but we'll still know who they are and if we add ne we can also add negative dif discounts if we want a coupon code that actually charges more we could add a negative two percent and it would charge more and apparently that doesn't work so we're gonna ignore that um, okay so and yeah just to delete them you just hit the X um, so that's pretty much uh, how to use the admin panel with the feature set currently so I look forward to your feedback and uh, just send me an email if there's any issues or features that we need to implement